Hello there everybody, and welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a very interesting coin. It's a coin of which you guys might recognise as just a regular £1 coin. But this here is in fact a Gibraltar £1 coin. Some of you may not know where Gibraltar is. Gibraltar is, as you can probably see on this map on your screen, is a little part of Spain of which Britain owns. It's a sovereign bit of Spain that was ceded to Britain, during the Spanish World Succession in 1713, and Britain has held on to its sovereign rule over the area up until today. Now, let's go off and look at this coin here, and not get into any of the politics around Gibraltar, because that's a bigger bite that I could actually go off and swallow there. Alright, so first of all, as I did say, this is just the same as a regular pound. It's just a nickel brass composition, with a weight of 9.5 grams, a diameter of 22.25 millimeters, and a thickness of 3.15 millimeters. Pretty standard British pound coin there. Well, the old design at least, not the new ones. Well, let's now go off and hop into it and look at the reverse here. This reverse was excellently engraved by Philip Nathan. Along Along the top here, we can see it just says one pound. Beneath it, a beautiful image of a Neanderthal skull. And the reason for that being a Neanderthal skull is, if I bring this closer to the camera, you can see the font beneath it, where it just, sorry, the text beneath it, where it just says, Discovery of Neanderthal skull in Gibraltar, 1848. That there is, in fact, a fact about Gibraltar I actually did not know until I actually got this pound coin. But yeah, so Neanderthal skull was discovered in Gibraltar in 1848, and this here is a circulating commemorative of which was released to go off and, well, commemorate the fact that the skull was found there. As you can see as well, on the edges here, you can see a little beaded edge separating the main part of the coin from the elevated ridge. Flip it onto the edge here, as I did mention, it has a reeded edge, bulk standard for a British pound coin. If we flip it here onto the obverse, this here is an obverse that was engraved by Raphael David Maclough, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now, this here is just a nice portrait of the Queen here, where she's facing right and wearing her crown. And if we do look next to her, we can see the lettering Elizabeth II, and then on the other side of her, so the right side of her, we can see it just says Gibraltar and the Year of Mintage. This one here being the 2010 variant. It should also be noted that on the neck of the queen here, there is also the initials of the engraver. It just says RDM, right there. That's not really a neck to be fair, that's more of a shoulder. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways. Now, this coin here actually is quite interesting when it comes to the value of the coin. The coin, the 2010 version I've got here, is worth somewhere around a pound fifty. However, the 2011 version is worth a lot more and is worth around six to seven pounds. This here is probably due to the extremely low mintage of the 2011 version. The 2010 version is already low in mintage, but nowhere near as low as the 2011 version. And this coin is this coin is just a nice little pound coin to add to your collection from a country of which. I actually did not know too much about, and I still don't. I'm probably going to go put some research into it in the future, and um, yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, please do subscribe to the channel, do leave a like on the video, and I'll talk to you next time. Just have a good day everybody!